So now on to task six. The head teacher has started a presentation for the school's open day. It's asking us to download the files. So you can see at the bottom here, we've got three files. If you click on these, they'll download. You might be able to save them directly into your exam folder you've created. Otherwise, they might go into your downloads folder. So you just have to move them into your exam folder. What we need to do once we've downloaded the files is we need to insert the sound file and the image we've been given onto a new slide. We need to draw a speech bubble for each slide, each child in the image with the text, Welcome to Green Meadow Primary School. And we need to insert a copy of the chart you created into task three. Finally, we need to insert Green Meadow Primary School into the footer on all slides. And we need to make sure the presentation is clear, easy to read and has no errors. So we're going to download all the three files and then we're going to open, first of all, our PowerPoint file. to get our presentation. Again, like earlier, if there is a protected view, just make sure you click on enable editing to let you edit the PowerPoint presentation. So the first thing we needed to do for the presentation is insert the sound file and image you were given onto a new slide. So first of all, I'm going to click on new slide. I'm just going to make sure that goes at the end. Then I'm going to insert my picture. There's a couple of ways I can insert my picture. I can use the insert tab and go to pictures or I can use one of the tools that are in the content placeholder here. So I'm going to first of all click on the insert picture button from there. And again, I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to find my folder and select the picture. Okay. Next, I'm going to go to insert audio and find the sound file. So I'm going to insert the audio on my PC and make sure I go onto my desktop and into my folder and you can see it's already gone there for me. And I'm going to select the audio. And you can see once you've got your audio in, it puts on a little speaker symbol. I'm going to go back to the exam and see what else I need to do. So next thing it says draw a speech bubble for each child in the image with the text Welcome to Green Meadow Primary School. So first of all, I'm going to go to insert, shapes, and I'm going to find a speech bubble. So here we go. Find a speech bubble. And all I've got to do is just drag it out onto my page. And I can edit where the little speech triangle goes. And I can type into it by right clicking on it. I'm clicking edit text. So then I'm just going to type in the message. And just check you've typed that incorrectly. So welcome to Green Meadow Primary School. Once I've done that for the one child, all I'm going to do is right click on it and I'm going to click copy. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to paste that speech bubble and then use it again for the second child. You might find you need to move it around or make it bigger or smaller depending depending on it. Get it into a place where you feel comfortable it can go. And still make sure it fits onto your slide. Okay. Then we need to insert a copy of the chart you've created in task three. 
So again, I'm just going to pop another new slide in. And I'm going to go back into my exam folder that's on my desktop. And I'm going to open up the Excel file, that, the file I created in the last task. I'm then going to go into the chart tab and click on the chart, right click and I'm going to copy that chart and then I'm just going to paste it onto my presentation. You might want to give it a little title. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is insert Green Meadow Primary School in a footer on all the slides. So we're going to go back to our presentation. And we're going to find our header and footer, which is on the insert tab under header and footer. And in, we're going to tick the footer and we're going to type Green Meadow Primary School. And then click apply to all. And it's going to pop that on the bottom of every slide. Finally, it's asking us to make sure the presentation is clear, easy to read, and has no errors. Okay? So the thing we want to do here is just go through our presentation, and you might want to make some of the fonts bigger so they're clearer. And you can see, depending on what what question you get, you might have some errors or some things that aren't quite consistent. So again, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. But what you can see here is some of these have got bullet points and some haven't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the bullet points off. I'm then going to make sure the spelling is correct so we can see some incorrect spellings here. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to just right click on them and hopefully I will get a suggestion on what the correct spelling is. So once I right click on it, I can then click on the right, correct word. I'm going to then re-highlight those and add some new bullet points on. Okay. So... We've just made sure the presentation is clear, easy to read, and has no errors. So all we've got to do now is save our presentation, which is in File. Save as again. And we're going to find our folder on the desktop. I'm going to give it a new name. I'm going to just call it Open Day. And I'm going to save that so I know it's my finished presentation. Just before you've pressed next, though, just make sure you've uploaded your document. And that will let you finish that question. 